Here's a way to blow out $100 away on 0.9 degree stepper motors. This motor's magnet is much stronger than these two. Now, I'm not sure if this motor is actually more powerful because of the magnet and everything in between, but this is supposed to have a 0.9 arc rather than 1.8, these guys here. So I upgraded them in my uh, 2 tree Sapphire. Let's get into it. So you will need the engineer pliers or crimper and I use this because it's the most easy to use but it's kind of expensive, it's about $40. If you have another one you can use a different one but needle nose pliers don't usually work too well. Obviously you're going to need a kit for JST connectors, the 2.54 millimeter JST connectors and I do have another crimper which is a one shot crimper with the engineer plier or crimper you need two shots, the 1.4 and the 1.9 millimeters. So then you clip the wires off to get the wire about two millimeters exposed to be able to crimp it in on the A piece and then on the B piece. So this is the wire not being clipped and then we're going to see the wire being clipped right here. So I clipped the wire, it's, that's about two, two and a half, three millimeters, I'm not sure exactly, you have a little bit of wiggle room. And just because I care about your eyes I decided to make this uh, image uh, like this but also I inverted it. And this is the top view of the JST female pin. This is the side view. And then you have the A side of it, which is the smaller clip. And then the B side, which is the higher clip or the larger clip. And you use the engineer 1.4 millimeter on the A side and the 1.9 millimeter on the B side. But you do not pull too hard. See, that's the A side, which is the first side that's clipped on the A side of the JST connector. And then this is the B side. And that's a full clip uh, JST connector 2.54 millimeters. Sometimes they get stuck in the plier or the crimper so you need a needle nose to like shake them side to side. Make sure you do not uh, flatten out the retainer right there. And this is when you over crimp them on the B side, the larger part, they break. And this is how you see the wire moving up. That means it's crimped and it's tight. If you continue squeezing, then you might actually go through the wire and break it off, or it will break off at a later date. And then you're going to go crazy because you don't know why your 3D printer is not working. And this is the diagram for the stepper motors. And you have the wires black, green, red, and blue. So you connect the black and green in one coil, and then the red and blue on the other coil. And this is the black cable, the old cable that connects the stepper motor and this is the new cable with uh, black green red blue and you basically just swap them and that should do it so in order for me to make sure that I'm doing something right I connected the motors like this and you can see on the y-axis being this is a core XY they spin in opposite directions and on the x-axis they spin on the same direction after this you have to increase the stepper steps so mine were at 640 per stepper motor on each of the axes so I doubled those to 1280 because the degrees now are 0.9 rather than 1.8 so you get finer precision but that remains to be seen if you can actually detect that in your 3D prints because I only 3D printed one thing and um, I don't have a microscope to look and I decided to print it with whatever filament it was in the printer and it's white and it doesn't really reflect the light too well so you can visually inspect it and see that well yeah this is a better 3D print than before. So I also only changed the two steppers. I didn't change the Z-axis stepper or the um, Titan extruder stepper because I thought it's not that important. I think I could change the Z-axis one but I just got lazy. I do have four of them but I only changed the two. I want to see if it's worth the change or not. But I have to compare it with all 3D prints. So here I just decided to 3D print quickly. One of my 3D printing tests I designed in a Jiffy. So it's printing really, really fast and we don't have to do too much. And uh, that should be it. And it works. That was the test I wanted to have, it, to see if it works or not. And that's how you change the steppers from, from 1.8 degrees to 0.9 degrees steppers. Or you can save the $100 and invest in your future rather than just take $100 from your future self. 
On this channel, I speak mostly about 3D printers and their particular specifications, features, or lack thereof. Sometimes I may throw a wrench in the system with a review about my computer setup and or car fixing video. If you think you can stomach this type of format, throw me a like or a subscribe. Thank you.